Hello everyone, hope you are doing well and today we will be solving a question that came in today's contest in the morning and the question is minimum elements to form a given sum. In this question you are given an array of integers and you need to add elements uh, to, your in, uh, to your input so that the total sum becomes equal to the goal. So the total sum of these elements uh, should become equal to your goal and there is a limit given to us that while adding elements to your uh, array, your sum, uh, the, the number should not exceed the limit variable. So let's try and understand uh, this example. We are given 1, minus 1 and 1. The total sum of these elements would become 1. What is the goal that we are trying to achieve? We are trying to achieve minus 4. So what is the difference that we want to attain? A minus 4 minus total sum that would be minus 5. We are trying to attain a sum of minus 5. We need to add minus 5 more to the current elements so as to attain the goal. And the limit here is given to us is 3. So we cannot add elements uh, to our input array that exceeds 3. Therefore, uh, we have to add two elements, one minus two and other minus three. Why I am saying this that we need to add two elements, minus two and minus three, because there is the condition given in the question, the array ma must maintain its property that absolute of all the new elements that are getting added uh, should be less than or equal to the limit. So this is a very important property that we need to keep in mind which actually performs the uh, negation operation if the uh, total sum that we need to attain it turns out to be negative we need to we can take the absolute value of it and do the manipulation so let's quickly understand uh, the algorithm that i have created for this let me just start, just start the slideshow and let me take a pen here and let's uh, talk about this example this is a similar example that was that is given in the question what is the total sum that we are trying to achieve total sum is uh, minus uh, total sum is 1 minus 1 plus 1 so total sum becomes 1 what is the goal that we are uh, trying to achieve goal is 4 so what is the difference that we have to uh, goal is minus 4 what is the difference that we need to uh, cover that is minus 4 minus 1 which is minus 5 and once we have this uh, di difference calculated uh, we need to uh, take the absolute value of it so we will make it 5 and what we can do we have to divide it into intervals such that the limit is not exceeded for example in this case we have to divide 5 into different buckets uh, one would be of maximum size 3 and other would be of 2 so as to at attain a sum of 5 had it been 20 then what would have and the limit still uh, was 3 then how many buckets we would have made uh, 6 plus 1 7 buckets we would have made how you would have taken 6 buckets of 3 each and 1 bucket of 2 so as to get a total of uh, 20 so 1 to 3 4 then we have 5 6 and another one would be of 2 because uh, we are targeting a total sum of 20 and these 6 buckets are filled up to the maximum capacity that is 3 and the remaining one is of capacity 2. Let's take another example where the total target sum is 40 and the limit size let's assume is 7 then how many buckets that are, would be needed of size 7 uh, that would be uh, 6. Why? Because 5 buckets will be filled up to total capacity of 7 and the remaining 1 would be extra needed which will be half filled up to 5. So this is 35. This turns out to be 35 and this is the remaining 5 which in totality makes a complete uh, sum 40. I hope this approach is clear to you and let me just walk you through the coding part. Defining variable sum 
that will give me the sum of all the elements that are there in my input data set that is num sum plus equals to el also i am defining it as long instead of integer so as to take care of those cases where it exceeds the uh, integer uh, maximum capacity max capacity just one of the corner cases if that is the, if those are there and let me just calculate the goal uh, the difference that is needed difference needed to attain the goal would be goal minus sum and since we have uh, the target difference that is uh, to be covered uh, we will check if difference needed modulus limit happens to be equal to 0 that means it is completely divided by the limit then we will return difference needed by limit otherwise we will return difference needed by limit plus 1 and don't forget to cast it into integer back here as well because we need to return integer not long and apart from this am i missing something yeah i am uh, we have to make a difference needed uh, absolute in nature so i'm taking mass dot abs method on the difference so let's try this out so this is a typical greedy approach that i'm following looks fine and let me just submit it accepted uh, what is the time complexity of this approach the time complexity would be order of n since you are iterating to the input array once and what would the space complexity space complexity would be of order of one uh, thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it and please don't forget to subscribe to the channels